Hey everyone, we're on the Quran, we're on An Am, Surah 6, part 7, and we're starting on verse 60. It is he who doth take your souls by night, and hath knowledge of all that ye have done by day. By day doth he raise you up again, that a term appointed be fulfilled, and the end unto him will be your return. Then will he show you the truth of all that ye did. Oh, wait a minute. So I think this is saying that God is going to show us, like, everything that we did. Wow, it's kind of like, what if he's talking sort of like a movie or something? Like a like a playback. Like, you're going to be able to see it? Ooh, that's scary. He is the irresistible watching from above over his worshippers. And he sets guardians over you. At length, when death approaches one of you, our angels take his soul and they never fail in their duty then our men return unto Allah their protector the only reality is not his the command and he is the swiftest in taking account say who is it that delivereth you from the dark recesses of the land and sea when ye call upon him in humility and silent terror if he only delivers us from these dangers we vow we shall truly show our gratitude Say, it is Allah that delivereth you from these and all other distresses, and yet ye worship false gods. Say, he hath power to send calamities on you from above and below, or to cover you with confusion in party strife, giving you a taste of mutual vengeance, each from the other. See how we explain the signs by various symbols, that they may understand. But thy people reject this, though it is the true say, not mine is the responsibility for arranging your affairs. For every message is a limit of time, and soon shall ye know it. When thou seest men engaged in vain discourse about our signs, turn away from them unless they turn to a different theme. If Satan ever makes thee forget, then after recollection, sit, thou, sit not thou in the company of those who do wrong. So making sure you don't sit amongst those who are doing bad things. On their account, no responsibility falls on the righteous, but their duty is to remind them that they may learn to fear God. Leave alone those who take their religion to be mere play and amusement, and are deceived by the life of this world. But proclaim to them this truth that every soul delivers itself to ruin by its own acts. It will find for itself no protector or intercessor except Allah. If it offered every ransom or reparation, none will be accepted. Such is the end of those who deliver themselves to ruin by their own acts. You know, that's really true. I can think of so many things that if I wouldn't have just, if I wouldn't have started it, it wouldn't happen. Man. You know, it's it's so weird how you can look in the past and think, like, man, if I wouldn't have done X, X, Y, and Z wouldn't have happened, right? They will have for drink only boiling water, and for punishment, one most grievous, for they persisted in rejecting Allah. Say, shall we indeed call on others besides Allah, things that can do us neither good nor harm, and turn on our heels after receiving guidance from Allah? like one whom the evil ones have made into a fool, wandering bewildered through the earth, his friends calling, Come to us, vainly, guiding him to the path, say, Allah's guidance is the only guidance, and we have been directed to submit ourselves to the Lord of the worlds, to establish regular prayers and to fear Allah, for it is to him that we shall be gathered together, it is he who created the heavens and the earth in true proportions. The day he saith, Be, behold, it is, his word is the truth. His will be the dominion, the day the trumpet will be blown. He knoweth the unseen as well as that which is open. For he is wise, well acquainted with all things. Dang, family, I think if we think about that, like, am I hurting myself in the long run? We'll probably make less mistakes. If, you, if we think to ourselves, 
Allah sees all that ye do. And then we think about this verse here, the long one, verse 70. We can think about making better choices. We can for sure make better choices. Just got to remember not to harm our own selves. Lo, Abraham said to his father Azar. Oh, that's the name of Abraham's dad? Azar? Takest thou idols for gods? For I see thee and thy people in manifest error. So did we show Abraham the power and the laws of the heavens and the earth, that he might with understanding have certitude. When the night covered him over, he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I love not those that set when he saw the moon rising in splendor. He said, This is my Lord. But when the moon set, he said, Unless my Lord guide me, I shall surely be among those who go astray. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, This is my Lord. This is the greatest of all. But when the sun set, he said, O oh, my people, I am indeed free from your guilt of giving partners to Allah. For me, I have set my face firmly and truly towards him who created the heavens and the earth, and never shall I give partners to Allah. His people disputed with him, he said, Come ye to dispute with me about Allah, when he himself hath guided me? I fear not the beings ye associate with Allah, unless my Lord willeth, nothing can happen. My Lord comprehendeth in his knowledge all things, will ye not yourselves be admonished? How should I fear the beings ye associate with Allah, when ye fear not to give partners to Allah without any warrant having been given to you? Which of us, two parties, hath more right to security? Tell me, if ye know. Fascinating. We're really getting into it here. It is those who believe and confuse not their beliefs with wrong that are truly in security. For they are on the right guidance. That's what the reason about us which we gave to Abraham to use against his people. We raise whom we will, degree after degree, for thy Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. We gave him Isaac and Jacob, all three we guided, and before him we guided Noah, and among his progeny David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Thus do we reward those who do good. And Zechariah, and John, and Jesus, and Elias, all in the ranks of the righteous. And Ishmael, and El Elisha, and Jonas, and Lot. And to all we gave favor above the nations. To them and to their fathers and progeny and brethren, we chose them and we guide them to a straight way. This is the guidance of Allah. He giveth what guidance to whom he pleaseth. Of his worshippers, if they were to join other gods with him, all that they did would be vain for them. These were the men to whom we gave the book and authority and prophethood. If these their descendants reject them, behold, we shall entrust their charge to a new people, who reject them not. Those were the prophets who received Allah's guidance. Copy the guidance they received. Say, no reward for this do I ask of you. This is no less than a message for the nations. Wow. Very interesting. We're, we're, we're getting deeper and deeper into the Quran. It's like a... A building is happening. What do you think, family? What we what we read so far? <laughs>